<laughs> all right man listen big foshy man i threw a bachelor party for my grandpa this is insane max always does the craziest stuff bro if you guys don't know about big foshy just think about barrier breaking whenever you get a notification for one of bro's videos just know it's gonna be something that you could have never imagined <laughs> and it's gonna be hilarious so make sure you subscribe if you want to subscribe to me too this is gerald he's 89 and he's never had a bachelor party we're here to dance so i'm gonna change that and take him one one that he'll remember for the rest of his days but who is Gerald? A brownie. Well, you might remember this woman from a previous video. I served her cooking back to her in a fancy restaurant. I can't tell you how nice it is. Whilst filming that I video, can't we tell you how nice husband. it is. I'm sorry, here we go. And he mentioned that he'd never had a bachelor party. That had strippers and various things. So, I was going to pull out all the stops. I feel like Elka Pone. <laughs> and throw him one for the ages. <laughs> but of course, being 89, would he be able to keep up? Has anyone seen Gerald? The first thing I needed to do was to get to know him so I could plan our stag party. This video has been sponsored by Adobe Express. See, at least Max cares, because for the longest time, I didn't know what stag dude meant. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Hello, Aileen. So nice to see you. So nice to see you, too. Aileen got everyone a nice cup of tea, and I settled in to get to know Gerald a little better. Gerald, stag dudes. You never had one, did you? Not at all. Why, why not? I think mate, we had been a bit past it that particular time after the second marriage. But he had been to a couple. I went to one with a friend of mine many, many years ago. What was going on? Well, I mean, they had strippers and various things. Yeah. <laughs> there were so many dance places to go to in those particular days. Would you go there to dance or was it just a place to meet people? Absolutely to dance. So I used to love dancing. I used Aww. to love driving. Oh, yeah. Do you still get to dance? Not as much as I'd like to. Right. I'm up for it. <laughs> <laughs> You're now retired, is that right? I, am. I used to work in Pettiford Lane Market when I was 15. Wow. Because you were in the China business for 40, 50 years. Very, very long time. Gerald also made it clear that this. Bro, it always be blowing my mind when I see people like this because I'd be wondering, like, was he like. You know what I'm getting at? You know what I'm getting at? Like, was he a supporter? <sighs> it's like, <sighs> like, you know, like, listen, I'd be like, I'd be like wanting to watch like older movies and stuff sometimes. You know what I mean? But I'd be thinking like, damn, like, I can't even have dreams of like wanting to go back to these time periods. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, people are always like, oh, dude, I bet the 50s and the 60s was probably just such a crazy time. And it's like, really? <laughs> like, low key, it's crazy because if he worked in the Pelican market, that means that his dad, his dad was definitely he had to have had slaves he had to <laughs> like, <laughs> that's all i can think about that's all i can think about <laughs> this youtube video wasn't the first time that he's been in front of a camera and he made sure i heard all about his television appearance in 1975. i worked on generation game with bruce Forsyth twice no do you have that footage i have tried to get a copy mm. of the show that my father and myself did but couldn't find it was it with the bbc Millions of, yeah bbc you're absolute showbiz no. royalty well, there was no time for a stag dude now that gerald and i were hey. firm friends what up, Zay? Thank you, thank you so much for the sub, gang. I really hope you're still enjoying life, bro. Still hanging out, man. I've been seeing you doing your damn thing, man. Really been living, taking time off the internet. You know what I'm saying? Actually enjoying life. I'm proud of that. <laughs> Keep doing your thing, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for still stopping by. I had a much better idea of what his perfect stag would be like. I'm very looking forward uh, to, to our stag, or your stag, I should say. Yes, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> and it was time for some planning. 
Transition. I just got back from seeing Gerald. What a great guy. I now more than ever want to make sure I give him the best stag do that he's never had. I have found a list of 1,000 activities to do on your stag do. He's got some questionable ideas, I think, this website. Car smash, barbecue. Um, they've also given a bit more explanation if you didn't quite get what that was with barbecue. Steak and strip. <laughs> What is that? Do you then do the stripping or just the steak? As I did some more research into what to do on a stag do, I also realized that I'd have to get one important item of clothing. Uh, the some strippers. It does seem that some sort of t-shirt, often Pussy patrol is crazy. t-shirt, is the way forward on a stag do. Oh yeah, there's a few, you know, prison uniforms, inmates, because you know, when you get married, <laughs> give away your freedom. The thing is, I'm definitely gonna need a t-shirt and I think I'm gonna make my own using Adobe Express. Adobe Express this is the most accessible version of Creative Cloud. And Adobe Express is all in the business of turning your ideas hey, into I reality. I you were going to get there eventually, the Shadow. that absolutely blow my mind, such as their AI generator fill. For Gerald Stagdo, I'm going to create his own t-shirt just using text-to-image. So I'm going to say, make a Stagdo t-shirt design for an 89 year old called Gerald. Generate. Here we go. What have we got? That looks amazing. Also, if Gerald wanted to give his input into the Stag Do t shirts, he could do very easily with the invite collaborators function. This is so easy. Make sure you don't miss out on Adobe Express and click the link That's in the fine. description below. And I guess now you get to see the t shirt. I think, uh, like, the best age, bro, I would love to get married sometime around like 36. 36-ish, maybe, you know what I mean? I always told myself I'd get married around, like, 28, but here we are at 30, and it's, it, we're not even in the fucking running. <laughs> that I've made for Gerald. A few days later, the t-shirts had arrived and the stage was set. It's an early start, so I really hope he's on time. And if you were thinking we were staying in the UK... Terminal 5, please. ...you'd be dead wrong. So I arrived at the airport and hopefully Gerald would show up too. I do worry for him because he's 89 and he is just by himself. Where's Gerald? <laughs> oh, there he is. Gerald, good Hello, morning. Hello, Max. Morning. Well, morning. Coffee. Well, yes, thank you. Well, it was time to reveal our uniform for the next few days. What do you think of this? So we've got... He's like, front, I don't know what to think. Yeah. And then on the back... Oh, God. <laughs> Not the most enthusiastic of reactions, but I knew just the accessory to convince him. The king. When do you want that done? Not now, surely. This is not now, surely. We were ready to fly. But I actually haven't told you where we're going. We were going to a place famous for bikes, canals, and uh, oh, that Amsterdam? other things. A place whose government have asked English tourists not to come as they get too wild. These two bucks were about to tear up Amsterdam. Amsterdam. <laughs> it's called havoc. <laughs> <laughs> We'd arrived in one of the party capitals of the world, and it was time for the stag to begin. That's so me? cool. 100%. Oh, God, you should have said that. Come on, let's uh, go. Put myself in trouble, yeah. <laughs> so, wasting no time at all, straight from the airport, we headed to our first activity. What do you think, girls? I think it's lovely. The city's excellent. It's a joy to be here. On the other side See, of the Gerald's already better than me, nigga, because I would have needed a nap at 4 a.m.? This is insane. That was our first activity. It's quite staggy. Do you know what we're doing? Yeah, for painful. Yeah. <laughs> Classic stag do activity number one, paintballing. In perhaps the creepiest paintballing centre in Europe. He's definitely British. What an unusual fact. Sure. Never in a place like this. Amazing. This is Gerald. Oh. This is stag do or bachelor party, but just 50 years late. Better late than never. Safety never takes a day off on Better the Twitch channel, never. so we got Gerald suited up. You look like the SAS, Gerald. And Apart from needing a bit of help with getting his trousers on. I think you put it on the, the wrong way around. <laughs> so that fits you really well. Oh, Gerald was raring to go. Have you ever played paper before, Joe? No. Have you ever shot a gun before? No. Right. I'm always happy to be your first Oh, this will be crazy. Oh, thirsty for blood. Gee, I feel like Hell Capone. <laughs> we head to the battlefield <laughs> and after a few picture shots from Gerald, I was getting worried. 
Oh my god. I'm in trouble here. Because as we were the only two people on this stag, it would be a one on one death match between me and Geraldinho. Three, two, one, game on! But don't be thinking just because I was versus an 89 year old that I would be going easy on him. Bloody hell. He's a marksman. I'm coming like a Gerald guy. He's about to unleash a volley of bullets on Gerald, the likes of which he's never. Oh, okay, he's got me. Oh. <laughs> he's peppering him! Oh, stop! <laughs> I am so rubbish at paintball. Gerald? <laughs> Ow. You're crack shot, Gerald. I'm sorry about it. With both skin and ego bruised, I'm I thought sorry it was about wise it. not to go up against Gerald again. We need to get back to central Amsterdam and its famous canals because we were getting on a boat. Gerald, we are going on that boat over there. We got the booze cruise. I've been on the cruise. <laughs> I've, I've been, been on the cruise. cruise. And still fired up from the paintball, Gerald wasted no time getting everyone involved. So, can I have a word with a second? My stag knife for a better word, all right? We're doing it 52 years later. Yeah, so. From the second we left the dock, the party started. Oh, dude, that's got to be so lit. Year, everyone was getting involved. Yes, please. And it's, it's crazy, too, because you got, bro, like, if a guy like this, bro, with this much energy at this age comes to you and tells you, like, oh, I'm on my stag, dude, like, bro, you got to get lit with him. You got to get lit with him. Like, there's no turning down that party. Like, I would have been like, you know what, bro? I was only planning on having, like, one beer on this because this is a short tour, but we getting fucked up. You know what I mean? And Gerald was the most popular man on the canal. Where are you from? Where are you from? Oh, no. <laughs> he was whipping out all the classic stories from the glory years, the main one being that time he was on telly. Nobody's ever heard of the Generation Game. Nobody's ever heard of Bruce Forsyth. And I was getting some backstory that even Aileen didn't know about. I went out used to sell pills for a living. What? Well, <laughs> the entire boat had fallen in love with Gerald. I would like everyone in including myself, to do a cheers for Gerald. One, two, three, Gerald! Nice to see you. Yeah. To see you nice. <laughs> Even I was getting carried away with it all. Eight, seven, two, one. Ooh, going out with Gerald a bit tough. But even with a literal boatload of new friends, I could sense there was something on Gerald's mind. So have you been married no, 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 no. Thank you. Do you often get, get time away from Aileen? Not now. As you both have got older, do you, do you find that you miss her more when you're away from her? Oh, of course. We've been together 40 years now. Nowadays, there's not often that you're apart. Not at all. Well, it's nice to get you out of the house, you know. Oh, it's wonderful. Get, to get us up to no good. Oh. Our booze cruise had come oh, to an dude, end. that's so good to hear. And Gerald had cemented himself as an Amsterdam legend. Everybody say Gerald! Gerald! Hey, Jedi with the six months. Come on, Key. Thank you, thank you so much for the love, Abby. Big G was holding up better than a man a quarter of his age. And both of us were ready to keep the party going. That's made the day. Do you fancy an eye out of the town? <laughs> I think I'm Jared is out. Oh, tired. I should probably go easy on him. Bless him. Poor Gerald was a bit knackered after the day's festivities, but unfortunately for him, it was only just the beginning. As next up, we were hitting a certain district that happens to have. Oh my god, red, red lights. lights. And exploring all the delights it had to offer. There's a lovely vases. As a glass salesman, you should be able to appreciate some good glass. This I like the cactus for the elephant. I love how he actually knows like the cheap glass. Like them shits were so cheap. <laughs> Very inventive. As the night went on, Very Gerald's inventive. world side began to peek through. Gerald's been cruising for about five minutes. And he was turning into a true Amsterdammer. That brownie. Mm. Do I... Sure. It tastes like... What? Good brownie. Dinner and a show. Get you in the mood. Yeah. The mood? for dancing. And that's quite lucky because, hey, what? it's party time. Are you old enough to come in? Can I see your ID? <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> come on, Gerald. There we go. That's for you. Shit. Cheers, good health. Come on. Bro, oh, how is he still Jim, up right now? Go more. I want to go more. More. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Your head on the table. Yeah. Yo, well, Gerald, Gerald is this shit! Well, open them up. <laughs> more, 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 My more, 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 more. No way. We're here to dance. We're here to jive, dance baby. To drink. <laughs> Dancing, drinking, stag. 
Look at him. A man of 89, jiving like he Bro, did. How is he still moving? Gerald was an inspiration to me and basically everyone around him. And I was so excited to see what the next day on our stag would bring. 12 hours. I was hungover in the meeting spot that Gerald and I had prearranged the night before. The problem was, there was no Gerald. I'm meant to be meeting Gerald here now. He just phoned me and said that he's uh, he's feeling a bit run down after last night, which, <laughs> to be fair, he went harder than I thought he was going to, but he's asked whether he can just like slightly take it easy today, which is slightly annoying because I have some things planned, but ultimately I've got to make sure that he's okay. So not really sure what I'm going to do now. In that moment, I realized that I might have pushed 89-year-old Gerald a little bit too far. So I did away with all of our plans for day two and hunkered down in a cafe to come up with something else. And actually, I had just the numbers to ring in the television world. Oh. Uh-oh. BBC? Gerald. Hi, Max. How's your morning been? How was your oh, day's been lovely. Good. Good to see you. And you, after our slightly, you know, our big one last night. <laughs> <laughs> How have you found this whole experience? I found the experience just amazing. I've loved every single minute of it. Everything has been so fantastic, and you've been absolutely fantastic, I must say. Well, you've been such a good sport, and I know that you are a big family man. It must have been difficult being away from Aileen for a couple yeah, of days. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I miss them all very much. <laughs> I'll see him all tomorrow anyway, so yeah. it'll be lovely to go oh, home. Well, but it's really been great. Good. Well, you don't need to worry about waiting tomorrow because, guys, can we come in, please? Guys? <laughs> we have got the, the team. I don't believe oh. it. Oh! <laughs> you never said a word. <laughs> Oh, they're still in love, dude. I love it. Gerald's clan back together, ready for him to share the stories of what he'd been up to. Oh, Max, I can't believe what you've just done. Oh, you're a family. I can't Gerald. believe it. And you not to the word. But there was one more surprise I had up my sleeve. And it's something that Gerald has been wanting for half a century. I'm gonna need all of you to close your eyes, okay? okay. You close your eyes, close your eyes, keep them closed, keep them closed. Okay, three, two, one, open. <gasps> oh my God! Generation go. Oh. We have found it, Gerald. Oh God, look at that. That is fantastic. We found the episode of you on the Generation Game from night. It was 1976. Yes. It was the hundred. Uh, I think it was the hundredth anniversary game. Um, what? Episode, I should say. And we've got the whole the whole thing for you guys to watch now. If you'd like to have a bit of watch, you doing your thing. He's like, I told you. Look at that. He's like, I told y'all niggas I was on TV. But he still, seemingly, hadn't forgotten his lines. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, and two is a half for nothing. Damn, that really meant a lot to him. You can tell that meant a lot to him, bro. 48 years ago. Oh, Gerald, that is okay. amazing. Gerald was able to enjoy this moment with his family and with you, the Fosh Pit. So thanks for watching. That's but I guess so cool. Aileen still wanted to know what he got up to. What a time. What have you been up to? You name it. <laughs> we don't give a fuck. That's so fire. That's so fire, bro. That's such a smart way to do it. It's a scam. Oh, God. Not the air up, man.